家好，我叫 Tom， 呃，我的中文名字是。Where from? I'm from the UK. UK. Which、yeah. part of the UK from? From South London. How long have you been in Japan? So far, I've been here seven days. Seven days. I've been to Tokyo for Tokyo. four days, Kyoto for th three, and then came here yesterday.、Oh, yesterday. How long are you gonna stay in Japan in total? Uh, ten days in total. Ten days in total. So three days, two days, or three days left? Yeah, two days left. Is this the first time for you to come to Japan? Yeah, first time here. Okay, so、mm. what's the first impression of Japan? Just so cool and <laughs> so much to offer as well. Because I've been to Tokyo, Kyoto,、mm. and now Osaka. I feel like、right. every city has something、mm. special. Like Tokyo is just so big, and probably one of the coolest places I've been to in my life. Yeah, like Tokyo. Yeah. Oh, okay. Just, just speaking of shops there, the、yeah. people there, yeah, stuff like that.、Mm. And then Kyoto was beautiful. Oh the yeah. The temples, the nature,、mm. and now Osaka it seems like I've only been here one night, but it seems very lively. A lot <laughs> yeah, going yeah, on yeah, yeah. and great food. Have you ever had takoyaki here? I haven't. That's on my list though.、I、need to try that. Yeah, definitely takoyaki、yeah. and okonomiyaki. I tried that. No, yeah. yeah. I really like that. Really love it. Yeah, yeah.、Uh, Japanese savory pancake. Yeah, yeah. Each place. Has different character of the city, so、mm -hmm. maybe Kyoto, Osaka, Tokyo. Because my time was so short, I thought I'd go to the、mm, most popular、yeah. places,、right. and you can't really go wrong.、Yeah. I didn't really have time to, you know, go to the north or anywhere、mm. else. So after ten days in Japan, you're gonna go back to your country. I'm going back to Taiwan. Actually, I'm currently a student in Taiwan, and I'm、oh. studying Chinese. So I've taken like a gap year out of university right. Right. to come study Chinese in Taiwan. Chinese. What made you feel kind of? You know, I wanna be able to speak Chinese, or maybe I wanna study Chinese. What's the kind of driving factor for you? I mean, it was a lot of factors. It was first of all, I liked learning languages. At my high school, I studied German and French.、Uh... But then I thought I wanted to sort of challenge myself at university, <laughs>、yeah. so picked Chinese,、mm. which probably one of the hardest. But also, it's very rewarding when you learn things, and then especially coming to the country and being able to speak、yeah. with people. And I love the culture, the food.、Mm -hmm. History, yeah, that's cool. What about Japanese? I was looking at Japanese and Chinese. I didn't really know which. What swung me towards Chinese、yeah. was that more people speak it. You get the opportunity to speak to more people.、Yeah. It could also be easier to find jobs where、right. I could be able to use my Chinese.、Mm, to yeah,、to. yeah, definitely. Yeah, Chinese could be a universal language maybe in the next, in the near future, right? Yeah, yeah. How long have you been learning Chinese for a long time? Like two years, two and a half years. Two years. Yeah. For a long time, I mean. I swear to God, you can speak Chinese. Maybe right now. Hello, I'm Tom. Or my Chinese name is Tang Ma Si. I'm an Indian. I'm 20 years old. I'm now in Taiwan studying Chinese. I mean, that's probably not great. <laughs> Don't worry. I have no clue why you're saying Chinese. Yeah, so, yeah. That's very cool. Yeah, yeah. I'm still learning. I've got a lot. Definitely, lot yeah. They're learning a language. It's continual process, right? Yeah, yeah. So never ending. Yeah. But thank you. Thanks for that. Yeah. No worries. Very cool. I've got kind of inspired by you. Oh, thank yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What the time? Maybe passing by air clock. A <laughs> forty. What are you up to today? I mean tonight here in Osaka, the、mm. craziest city in Japan. Yeah, yeah.、Um, I kind of don't really know too much, but <laughs>、oh, yeah. my idea. I like meeting people、yeah. just randomly. So my idea was just because、right. I'm I'm solo traveling, so、mm. I thought I just head to a bar,、yeah. see if I can meet people. Do you drink? Yeah, yeah. I'm English, so、uh, <laughs> definitely, definitely. Yeah, yeah.、Uh, pub culture. Actually,、uh, in this video, I've been looking for some. Someone who can drink, that who likes drinking, okay, and who has a time,、uh -huh. and usually I take、uh, people from my real like you、uh -huh. to the place where we can enjoy Japanese culture or maybe the food, something like that. So no pressure, but if you don't mind, maybe we can do izakaya curl. You guys go pub curl. Oh yeah, yeah. pub curl. Pub, yeah, pub yeah. curl. Pub curl. Yeah. I'd love that. I'd love that. Why don't we? Yeah. Let's oh do yeah. It. <laughs> Thank yeah. you.
Do you know how to say cheers in Japanese? Kanpai. Kanpai. Yeah, yeah. Can we say kanpai? Yeah. Kanpai. I like Asahi. Asahi's one of my favorite beers. In the UK though, it's really expensive. How much? Oh, in London it would be something insane, like yeah. about seven pounds, which is, I don't know, 1,400 yen. 1,400 yen. Yeah. What? London is crazy, for, especially beer. I mean, for everything, it's crazy. Right. There's a chain of bars, pubs, that are okay. more cheap. You want cheap alcohol, yeah. it's a couple of weather sports, and they're like all over London. That's where a lot of British right. students go to. Oh, yeah. Hi, Adamas. So this is Stingray. This is Stingray. I've never eaten Stingray. This is mayonnaise and a spicy powder on the top. So you can dip in there and you can eat it. Well, up to you how to eat. Maybe you can try straight forward. You know why? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's very chewy. Um, it tastes good though. I think the mayonnaise might help. You like it? It's good with the mayonnaise. It's good with the mayonnaise. <laughs> What food would you recommend? I mean, in the UK, British food. Aside from fish and chips. Sundays with your family. Oh, yeah. It's like roast meat. It can be chicken, beef, or with some potatoes, some vegetables. And yeah, that's really good. Sunday roast. Beans on toast as well. Oh, yeah. Beans on toast. A breakfast with lunch. English breakfast. Being out drinking the night before when you're hungover. English breakfast for breakfast. That kind of makes you feel better. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes yeah. worse. <laughs> Sometimes, yeah. Most of the time. Maybe vomiting, yeah, after that. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. You like it, Amame? Yeah, no. <laughs> oh. Usually, do you cook in Taiwan? Yeah. Taiwan, no. Taiwan's got like a big culture of night markets. Okay. Anywhere you live in Taipei, maybe like 15 minutes walk from a night market. Okay. There, there's so many choices of different food you can get. Yeah. Dumplings. Yeah. Taiwan dumplings are really good. A kind of traditional food yeah. over there, right? Their speciality is shao bao, which is like a soup dumpling. So that's really good. Yeah. You can get like beef noodles and anything. So, because it's so convenient, it's also compared to cooking, it's about the same price. Not that much difference. Because if I'm cooking food for myself, I'm gonna have to buy ingredients. Ingredients, yeah. It's gonna be very expensive. Yeah. So. But in the UK, I cook all the time because in the UK, it's so incredibly expensive. Yeah, yeah. Eat out. So living cost is not that much expensive over there in Taiwan. I mean. For me, comparing it to London, it's a lot cheaper, but um, yeah. obviously it's different for Taiwanese people. Uh, but for me, because I've got like, I've got scholarship money. That's good for you? Yeah, yeah. That's a sign too that you're a smart, you're a smart student and you can get scholarship from the university. Yeah. Wow, that's cool. I can tell that you are smart by how you speak Chinese. I mean, how you speak a second language. I mean, Chinese is very cool. I mean, it sounds cooler. Yeah, I think Japanese sounds very cool. <laughs> I'd like to learn Japanese, but I don't think I have the time to learn Japanese and Japanese. If you can understand kanji, you might be able to understand Japanese as well. Japanese is based on three characters. Kanji is one of them. The hiragana, katakana as well. So it might be harder but a lot more easier, uh, I mean, compared to the total beginner. Yeah, yeah. yeah.
Looks very chilly though. Not that much? Not too much. What would you rate out of 1 to 10? I'd give it a, like a 6.5. Oh, okay, 6.5. Very chewy. How would it be 10? How would it be 10? Yeah. <laughs> uh, bit more texture to it. Texture, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think that's the main thing. Do you consider yourself your foodie person? Um, in the UK, I, I cook with my friends at university. Mm -hmm. Every two weeks, we go through the same rotation of stuff. <laughs> yeah. so I feel like I can't really say I'm a foodie, but yeah. I like to just try things I've never had before. That venture outside of the comfort zone, yeah. yeah. I think I might not order it. I'm yeah. happy I've tried it. Yeah, you never know until you try. Just give it a shot. So you've been to a couple of places so far. Tokyo and Kyoto and here in Osaka. Tokyo is the best place you mentioned. Yeah. Yeah? What about food? What's the best Japanese food so far? Um, yesterday in Osaka, yeah. I had some Wagyu beef. And that was really good. Mm. It was authentic. You kind of cook it yourself. And oh, that kind of yak yakiniku? Do you know yakiniku, the Japanese barbecue yeah. place? I don't know, but yeah, that sort of thing. Cooked by yourself? Yeah, yeah. Like real? <laughs> okay, three, two, one. One more shot for the body. Three, two, one. Let me pour. So, can you hold a glass? Come by. <laughs> Oh, that's good. That's really nice. Pretty. Yeah, yeah. That's really nice. It's got a nice aftertaste as well. In the UK, what's quite popular is yeah. Jaeger bombs. You know oh, Jaeger? Jaeger? Jaeger bomb. It's a shot of Jaeger into a glass of Red Bull oh. and you drop it in. You get the caffeine from the Red Bull and you get the alcohol from the Jägermeister. And it tastes nice. Like if you're getting a bit tired right. at the nightclub, then you have a Jägermeister and your energy is back. <laughs> Yeah. What I have at university is yeah. I'll have a bottle of vodka and then some, a bottle of squash. And you add vodka into a glass, yeah. add the squash, <laughs> add the water. Okay. You can't taste the vodka, but it's right. still strong. Save your money and get drunk easily. Exactly. Yeah, that's yeah. the best way always. Yeah. I can only imagine that how strong you are when it comes to drinking alcohol. <laughs> British culture, the British pub culture. Mm. Especially at university, I've oh, yeah. drunk enough that I'm now very. <laughs> Very strong when it comes to drinking. Uh, First year, just don't really study that much and just party a lot. Just so party, yeah. First year was very busy. <laughs> very busy. Drinking, not so. Busy drinking. Good culture. Yeah. Very socialized. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, yeah, it's a very good way of meeting people. You gonna take one more? Yeah. You can say stop. Stop. Okay. Where did you learn that? Um, I think I googled it because I was like, I need to know how to say yeah. it. That in a polite way, yeah. That's what I like about Japan. It's, it's very polite. Everyone's mm. very polite. And also customer service if you go into yeah. shops or restaurants. It's always someone greeting you. Mm -hmm. Even though I don't speak Japanese, they're always very helpful. Mm. If they can speak English, then they help me. Yeah. Like I've left restaurants and then like the cooks thank you, the waiters thank you. Yeah. It's really nice. When it comes to the culture shock, did you find any culture shock along the way? You might have encountered something new. You have never experienced in your life. Do you have any ideas? I'd heard about it before, but coming here, you really realize on trains, yeah. no one speaks. It's complete <laughs> silence. Yeah. I found that so weird. In the UK, you'd have people talking really loudly, people on the phone. You come onto trains in Japan, absolute silence. <laughs> you also you can't eat or drink on uh... trains. Everyone's just 
sap on their phone or yeah. just, yeah, that was different. Yeah, actually many people say that. Kind of awestruck by how quiet it is in the public space and the transportation or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Taiwan, it has some similarities with Japan. Yeah. It's also quite quiet on the yeah. trains. Yeah. I mean, you can still talk, people take phone calls, but right. yeah. most people talk really quietly. Yeah. Uh, okay. So I kind of felt like to get used to it. There are Japanese lady, Korean lady, Chinese lady in front of you. Yeah. Do you think you can identify, or let's say this lady is coming from this country? Do you think you can tell that? Kind of really difficult. I've been asked right? the same question by my Taiwanese friends. Yeah. And if you ask me the same question for Europe, and you ask me, can you tell the difference? I'd say if people look stereotypically like their country, yeah. then I can tell the difference. So if you look like you're from that country, yeah. like a typical person from that country, yes. I'm going to guess you're from that country. I think I can tell where someone's from by how they dress. I can tell the difference between the languages. Like if I hear people talk, I can tell the difference. Definitely. Even between China and Taiwan, you can, you can tell yeah. the difference. Yeah. But just by looking at someone, I can't, I can guess, but I can't yeah. definitely say. Right. I mean, exactly the same thing for me. Lady from Italy, lady from France, lady from Spain, yeah. your country, UK, no clue. No clue. But if they look stereotypically yeah. like that country, then you're going to be like, oh, okay, yeah. maybe. How much are you drunk now? Let's say out of ten. What are ten? Three. Three. Or oh, oh, still? Yeah, yeah. No, yet hitting on the ceiling. I told you, I've had years of training at a UK university. <laughs> Trained students over here. 